Grosvenor McCaffrey. Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit Do down and we'll talk. I'll go get our wheels. You don't really have to do anything except for holding, uh, movement keys. <laughs> this dude's over here. There he is. There we're going to the castle. Stay and fight the good fight. <laughs> he Hurry, looks dangerous. Give it up, LAPD. <laughs> McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Okay, well. That's good. We got that done. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be the cap. Unless Sheridan set him up. I don't think that asshole from Jameson did that, do you? Not whoever did it. It's that guy. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the job? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together in the next one. I'll hold you to that. Oh, and I finished Fear today. It took me like an hour. Like, a legitimate hour. Even though I was like a few minutes short of an hour. It was 59 minutes and 42 seconds, I want to say. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, Jeff? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want the confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young fellas. Okay. Taryn is in one. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Okay, relationship. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Dealt. Sounds like half an answer Fuck. to me, Tiernan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Victims. I'm gonna open up the manual. Cause I don't care. I should have said live. Okay, I'm just gonna do the manual, the cheat thing, or the answers, so fuck it. Okay. Dealt. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. No. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, all You've been fighting with her. 
You fought, and I'm not lying. She got up and left. That was it. Okay. A little per liquor purchase. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, "You're in deep trouble, buddy." She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. She would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer. McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key. From the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Sorry, I'm adjusting my mic a bit more. There we go. Okay, well, I think I did good on that, even though I, I, I looked at the cheats and all that shit, but I still use yeah, my intuition. To to or I want to put him down one round. I'm uh, so sick and tired of hearing about that 45. Uh, but yeah, now we gotta go and do. Cat. Uh, Bronco. Apparently, it says there's PlayStation first and second. I don't know what that means. But let's I'll go and interrogate this in guy. Find the goddamn evidence. That's a press office. I gotta have it. Interrogation room two. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Okay. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. Uh, uh why? I already know what it is. You're lying, right? McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Torn letter. I don't see a torn letter. Really? Really? I didn't. It didn't save. Oh, okay, there it is. Upper half of a torn letter. You're going to have to do really? better than that, detective. Fuck. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? This thing is saying... McCaffrey... Okay, notebook. I'm trying to figure out. There we go. Access to tire iron. Yeah, I see. Alibi from McCurf McAfee. Alibi McAfee. On this thing, it says lie. Torn letter. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. We but found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with wrong, in your apartment, so. and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. 
You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? I'm gonna use intuition. Ask the community. Okay, why? I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Okay. Let me raise my mic up. It's actually hitting against my arm. There we go. Oh, let's raise the mic up a tiny bit. There we go. That's better. Um... Tiernan's accusations. Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self-preservation. That's understandable. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. Parker Okay, well it's saying to he's lying as well. I want to make Sorry. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that down. You've spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not quite. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. Prior events to murder. So Evelyn passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning. Very hungover. I thought Evelyn would have come back. I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning and he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box and he said I came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn and that it was all over the radio and that he would protect me. And I don't know, Detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. It wasn't me. Leave interrogation. Because I don't right think here. it was him, honestly. But... I, I can't I can't really tell what the answers are on this thing. It's just the oh yeah, it's, this, these are the different things you can use to like oh yeah, th these are the right answers. But I don't know who actually did it or not. So there's no spoilers if you're asking. So let's go and talk to him. Why do I keep going to the press yeah, office? Now Peter strips off me at the grand jury. Case is thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Okay, we gotta go on the phone. The cop from the newspaper. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. <laughs> Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. Thanks. 
Okay, well, he does have a criminal record. That's what it says. I got this gadget wig putting recording devices into the place for me. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point <laughs> here, isn't it? You're a lying motherfucker. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! I'm charging him. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grant. Five minutes left. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. Nice. Probably gonna be a cutscene. Nope. Oh. Well, I found a uh, 15 out of 17. Uh, 13 out of 16. <laughs> and vehicle damage. That's a shit ton of yeah. Okay. Let's see what goes on now. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead, first platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we roundly with the first, the try for the Naboots. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboots and Infilate. Mate, we can lose everyone. The lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! He was kind of a sh I guess you could say he was kind of a shit, uh, um, military guy. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. else but the killer knew about this message cunt b d find me here i hid myself look in another snippet from the shelly poem looking in what wonder up to heaven while yet the music pleaded along I hid myself within a fountain 
in the public square, where I lay like the reflex of the moon, seen in a wave under green leaves. Hmm. Hmm. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Hmm. If the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Too. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarrells and murder, not to mention the Moloch. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers will be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this rhyme was too good to be on. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want it Where to Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on. We have a clue. Captain? Thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Okay, well, I'm going to end it right here. Saving. So, uh, I'll be back in whenever. So, I'm probably going to go get something, some stuff to eat. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.